Hi there, namaste, and welcome back to another spiritualistic pick a card reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from the mermaids. So please take a deep breath, drawing the energy up your spine as you inhale. And as you exhale, allow yourself to come into clear knowing which group or groups has your message in it for you today. We have group number one on the left with you're working too hard. Group number two in the center with forged in fire. And group number three on the right with follow the flow. As always, the timestamps to your readings are listed below in the description box, as well as information about personal readings, Reiki sessions, any of the books, tarot and oracle decks that I've published, as well as the journals that I've made. My social media links are below as well if you would like to connect. And if you like, comment, and subscribe on this video and others, it helps me out a lot to continue doing what I love and also helps others find the messages that are out there for them. So thank you so very much. I'm grateful that you're here and I will see you at your reading. Namaste. Hi there, group one. Namaste and welcome to your reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from the mermaids and you selected the first group with the you're working too hard card. The first message coming through from the mermaids for you is that there is something that you are taking the convoluted path in order to get to your destination. This is not to say what you are doing is wrong, but this is to say that this can be accomplished in far fewer steps. There are some things in your life that make you very proud to say that you do them, that you can do them. They're milestones, perhaps things you always saw yourself doing, but they are not as sustainable in the future as you might have hoped. Not to worry, sweet one, however, because this is a message of hope and flow. The mermaids wanted to clue you in on the fact that things can be easier for you. You seem to have a gift, a special knowing, a special ability that when you turn this on, when utilized, can make a huge impact on yourself and those around you. Because of this, the mermaids would like for you to know that it is okay for you to roll with the flow a little bit. It is okay for you to float. It is okay to allow the waves to do the work for you. And not to forget that sometimes there are waves that we don't see with our physical eyes. Meaning that sometimes we can get carried away by a current that we don't see coming. They're saying wink. Trust in the process here, for there is so much for you to know, so much for you to learn, and so much you still have yet to grow. Any periods of stagnancy that you've been experiencing in your life are about to take off. Now that you've seen these periods as sacred, as divine, as beautiful, as lucky, as intentional, you have now reached the gratitude, acceptance, and detachment phase. Do expect to be exploring deeper depths and greater heights than you have previously known. The beginning of this chapter has already been marked in your reality and you are aware of what this is. Do trust that this is a bigger turning point for you than you may be expecting. And no, it does not matter which coral reef you visit as long as you are in the right ecosystem. The mermaids would like for you to know that sometimes beautiful, pure, innocent energies and souls are sometimes mistreated because of their novelty, because they are beautiful. Consider what might happen to a mermaid if they were discovered by sailors today. Apart from the lore and perhaps delusion that might be considered 
of the one who perhaps saw the mermaid. Think of the way they would stop at nothing to catch this mermaid, whether their goal be to put it in captivity or do something else with it. The mermaid would like to remind you that there is a reason why they are hidden in this realm or the next, in your ocean or another. There is a reason why they are hidden and there is a reason why, yet still everyone knows they exist. Because their energy, their truth, their beauty, their voice is that powerful, is that strong, yet they are still largely unseen and unheard by most, except a special select few. And the select few is so small, so rare, that others might not believe them. There is a reason why these energies have a tendency to have been villainized over the lore that has been passed down. Although not all lore, and not most lore, however, some of the stories that stick. And the reason for this is because when you are elusive, inexplicable, magical, multidimensional, when you swim to the depths, yet you look so much like those who cannot, it becomes then a reflex for others to try to find something wrong with different, where for us and for you, it's not different, it's normal. Instead of returning the favor, however, you work too hard, group one. And so the mermaids would like to remind you that your beauty lies within, but that it also lies without too. The energy that you carry forth throughout your life is one of integrity, is one of fairness, is one of a balanced and just energy for yourself and all those around you. However, you have specially encoded shortcuts and secrets and abilities that do make you different from the rest than all of the rest. And while it might be your inclination to hide in the depths or the untraveled ocean, or only hang around a select few who are trustworthy and filled, in, filled with integrity, it is important, group number one, that you still continue to acknowledge who you are, what you can do, and trust that perhaps by making yourself more elusive, less accessible, less active towards areas considered to you as work, as priorities, as action, necessary, humanitarian, energies, you will find that the more you pull back, the more successful you are. Mermaids do not give swimming lessons to the fish or to the humans. They do not give vocal lessons to the whales or the dolphins. They do not say hello to the sailors and sing them alluring siren songs because they do not want to get caught and they are not of ill will at heart. And sure, just as everything has a light and a dark, you would not yourself be considered one or the other as much as you might like to think so or as much as others might like to paint you that way. The same is true for all beings, regardless of what they choose. The Mermaid Collective is one of water and the vibration of water, the molecule formation of water, is one that is affected very greatly by sound, as you know, but is mostly affected by its external surroundings and environment, like sound. The mermaids know you personally, group number one, and 
they cannot wait to connect with you again. In fact, they are using this opportunity to swim to you and make themselves known in your reality. You will feel the density of the air around you change as you continue to explore what that means. You will feel the ability, the mobility, and the fluidity of your body, your emotions, your thoughts, your being change and alter as you explore what that means. And you will get to float and swim and swirl and twirl and sing in your life because that is what you are here to do. No more and no less. Now let's get into your tarot. Messages please from the mermaids to group number one. Messages from the mermaids to group number one. Many humans, more than your kind heart and soul would like to believe, you will find do have some sort of sadistic nature to them. And while you do not understand this, you continue moving through love and get better at identifying this around you. Just as you must be careful who knows your secrets, your existence, your abilities, you must also remember that Humans know that they pollute the ocean, and they know better than to behave the way that most of them do. However, because they are under the illusion that it negatively affects others and not themselves, they continue to dilute themselves even though they know deep down what they are doing is wrong. Every being has a conscience. Every being knows right from wrong in the divine sense. So it is important, group one, that you do not put too much of yourself out there as available to anyone to find. And that you remember that there is always clear ocean to swim in, regardless of the activity of the reckless around you. There is something here that you feel called to create. And in doing so, seems as though from your vantage point, it will require more of you, more of an investment of your time and energy. We would like to advise you to go slowly in beginning this or in carrying this forward. We would like to advise you to infuse grace, patience, love. These are the virtues of the mermaids and the lyrics to her songs. As you are beginning to look back at all of the things that you did not say and you begin to create a new version of you and you begin to create a new version of life, you step into a new chapter. It is important that you allow yourself to feel just as free and innocent as you did before experiencing the sailors who are lured in by your praises of love and gratitude for all of creation and not jaded because they tried to capture her or make her their own, or worse. However, it is always in lore, the mermaids at fault. It is them who has made the victim. And as we know this to be false, there are also energies that are here to remind you to play and to be fearless and as you are fearless, also be selective and more secretive. This is why mermaids always seem like they have a secret, and it is because they do. But do not forget the alchemical powers of your tears, of your laugh, of your song, of your voice. You see from higher heights than all of the depths of the ocean, because you can breach and you see deeper depths than all on land can because nothing is too deep. While you may find it is the case that you will then feel comfortable swimming right on top of the water where the 
air meets the sea. It will be important for you to recognize that this is the easiest way for you to be seen, to stand out among the rest. Trust that you will end up growing in the direction you are meant to grow when you begin to self-preserve a bit more. This is not to say that you haven't been careful, but this is to say that, unfortunately, humans know that they affect their own livelihood by polluting the ocean, but they still do it anyway. Humans know that mermaids exist, and they also know that mermaids are more powerful than them. Therefore, mermaids don't exist, and if they do, they are the villain. This is why the mermaids have hidden themselves. And this is also why they are excited to come into contact with you, group number one. Because they know you, they're comfortable with you, they remember you, gentle soul. The mermaids have visited you before in your dreams. They have the ability to sing songs that affect the subconscious, and these are not used for evil any more than a guided meditation is. However, they have left you little gifts, vocal kisses that result in subconscious pearls. And as they drape you with the finest algae and the most beautiful kelp and the sparkliest pearls, they would like for you to know that you are held in a web, in a blanket of love, and that water will always be a safe place for you, always. There is a reason why in scary moments of your life, water is there for you. There is a reason why certain energies, when you are around them, perhaps encourage you consciously or subconsciously from being around or drinking water. Water is a safe space for you. Water allows you to fully express your being and it allows you to receive that which you have been working so hard to achieve. You are aware that it is time now to use your legs to walk to the shoreline and get back in the water. But as you do this, they're showing me just an analogy to follow this. As you get back in the water, you will no longer frequent that bakery every day at 10 in the morning. You will not be able to have access to your cell phone. You must be seen with human eyes to be known by them. And you will be surrounded by a community of fellow travelers, fellow mermaids, fellow explorers. Trust that your song is pertinent to you completing your cycle of expression. And as human illusion often encourages, remember that you are working too hard. The mermaids would like for you to trust in not only your expression, but the gentle, beautiful, and ethereal guides, energies, and waves around you. You can feel the purity of the wave. If you can see through the wave, you know what is in it. And if you can see what is in it, you know whether or not it is a safe one to catch. Use this advice literally. And 
do not get so caught up in your human brain that you forget to explore the magic of the parts of you that you also are. There are many secrets about human nature that have been held from the masses. You are or will soon become aware of these. And as you begin to explore and express these beautiful gifts and abilities, you will realize how normal and natural it is. You will also realize why those who resonate with these energies do not put themselves out there to be seen, to be used, to be distorted. All that is sacred and blessed is divinely protected and in the flow of the natural universe. And so because of this, expect great changes to occur in your physical life as you begin to finally crack open and release all of these energies of you that will propel you forward by doing less. Okay, group number one, that is your channeled message from the mermaids. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you. And as always, I'm sending you all my love, light, and gratitude. If you like, comment, and subscribe, it helps me out so much and I get to keep doing what I love. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful, magical realm. Thank you for being here, and I love you. Namaste. Hi there, group two. Namaste, and welcome to your reading. Today I'm channeling a message to you from the mermaids and you selected the second group with the Forged in Fire card. The first message that wants to come through for you today is of course to let your inner fire burn. Allow yourself to feel all of the energies that tap in with your emotions, which is ruled by water, but tapping in with the emotion and the passion that verges between water and fire. This is kind of a Plutonian energy that's coming out here. You are in the midst of a beautiful transformation. And as you are working with the energy of transformation, do not forget to allow yourself to utilize the power of your fire. They're using my clairvoyance very strongly. So they may be tapping in with you with your clairvoyance or you may be opening this up. They're showing me someone forging a sword out of fire when it's red hot literally and when metal is hot like this it is almost liquid it is really malleable and so there's something here where they're asking you do not be afraid or do not be shy when it comes to expressing the fire within you because as you transform you'll be able to ebb and flow along the process however what comes out on the other side is sharp as a sword. It is permanent. It is unbending as metal. And allow yourself at this point in time to enjoy the process of the transformation. What would you like to become? What would you like to turn into? How would you like to express yourself? And what kind of vision would you like to have for your own future? The mermaids would like to let you know that there is something here about you feeling as though or acknowledging that perhaps your growth may have been stunted in a particular area of life and now it is time to transform. When particular energy only takes you so far, it is time to take a look at this, do something about it, break the pattern, raise the vibe, change the perspective, something like this. And this is something that you have been doing a wonderful job at opening yourself up to and are transforming along the way. However, the mermaids are aware that for you, with this situation and this circumstance, there is not one right or wrong answer. And this is why they would like to remind you that even metal, even fire can become liquid during the transformational process. And so this is not just about working with malleable energies as all energy is like this, but the mermaids would like to remind you, most of all, group number two, that 
you deserve to explore what your permanent position is going to be, what your permanent role in this life is going to be. It is not one that gets bestowed upon you. It is not your relation to something else. It is not the title of your job. It is not mother, father, daughter, son, brother, sister. It is you and what that means. It's allowed to ebb and flow and change over time. Because of this, you are being called to explore different shapes during this malleable period of time. Allow yourself to feel out what feels right, what doesn't feel so right. And again, there is no right or wrong answer other than your subjectivity. How would you decorate your space? How would you decorate your life? The mermaids would like to pay attention to perhaps a collectible that you have or something that you have many of that reminds you of you. You are aware that maybe this is an item that you have a few of that you really like, but perhaps you do not bring them out all of the time because you have so many or they are off limits. You don't touch them. You don't go near them. The mermaids are letting you know that the reason why you have many of a particular thing is not because you are not meant to interact with them. This is one clue that can open up a rabbit hole that will help you discover more about yourself, particularly when it comes to your image and permanent place in this realm. Once again, there is no right or wrong answer, but you already have the clues from you to you around you. This is not something where the opinions of others will be able to sway you or help you find right or wrong. This is, in fact, something that is for you and something that is permanently a part of your heart space. The mermaids would like for you to know, group number two, that you have done the best that you can in certain areas, in so many areas. And sometimes it feels like your best is never enough. And they would like for you to know that this does not mean that you are doing the wrong things. It does not mean that you are just waiting your turn. It does, however, mean that you can turn right or left or create a small pivot in order to see different results. And not only are you aware of this, but this is the phase of life that you have begun. When metal gets melted and turned into a sword, of course it is liquid, but the shock of the heat is extensive. The welder must be careful utilizing their tools, a master at their craft. Therefore, you are being called by the mermaids and by your inner self to take a look at the things that you are a master of. Not just the things you want to try or the things that you see yourself doing someday or the thing that you think is the smartest or someone else's opinion and idea. Look at the things that you are undebatably an absolute master of. And start collecting these pieces to put together a picture. But you get to decide what this picture looks like as long as they involve these pieces. There is this energy of looking for resources or studying those around you or trying to figure out the smartest decision asking for people's opinions and this will lead you astray where you are meant to go is somewhere that belongs to no one else but you is somewhere that is seen by no one else but you and is something that can be found by no one else but you so the mermaids would like for you to dive deeply into your own depths and find perhaps the caves under the water explore the land that is beneath the water 
and find the air pocket that holds the eternal flame. This space will be a safe haven for you. The space will hold your future, your capability, and also your happiness, even more so than you experience it today. So the mermaids would like to encourage you to find this. Claim it as your own, as it always has been. And trust that what is meant for you is not meant for anyone else and cannot be taken away from you. But what is not meant for you, you will continue to struggle trying to find reasons why everyone else seems to be able to except for you. If you are different, it is not because you are meant to do what everyone else is doing. And this will always be a law of the universe. Besides, whenever several people are doing the same thing, usually all but one, at least, are not acting out of authenticity and sovereignty. Okay, group number two, let's get into your tarot cards. Messages, please, from the mermaids to group number two. still a bit of a question about how much longer do you have to wait? How much stronger do you have to be? What decision can you make? How can you find the easy road? And the fact that you are asking this question is the problem. You will come to understand this when, you are face when your back is facing this problem. However, when you are looking at it in the face, you will understand that you are trying to pick apart something where it cannot be picked apart any further. And so because of this, you will look at a situation and not be able to find the answer because the answer you seek does not exist in the situation. And needing an answer to be sought simply means that you are not in the correct situation or there is a shift that needs to be made to the situation. For most of you, it is entirely the former. The mermaids are aware that you've been feeling as though you've been tight and bound in particular situations in your life, and they would like to remind you that this is not true. They're showing me a mermaid getting caught in a net. When a mermaid gets caught in the net, there are a few different options. The mermaid can stress over the fact that they're in a net. They can swim down or sideways to try to counter the pull. They can try to break through the net, or they can surrender to the process and be brought up to shore and hope that Whoever is catching them is kind-hearted enough to let them go. We see here for you that this is the latter. You are being called to surrender and trust the process. Let yourself be pulled in by unforeseen forces. This is going to acknowledge your strength, but it's also going to acknowledge the transformational decisions that you've been making lately. They're going to understand that everyone has their own idea about what you are supposed to be doing and that all of them seem like their idea of what would make them comfortable that you were doing, but none of them resonate with you. This is because you are used to going at something alone. And while this is not meant to be the case forever, it is going to be important to recognize that in order for you to find your true abundance, it is not going to come from strong arming your way through an energy, through a situation, through a life, always quality over quantity. And while you might not see integrity being played out around you, this is when the universe will often show something magnificent with a hollow core, a house of cards, and this rug will get swept out from underneath them. 
This is not your life and this is not your situation. The mermaids would like to let you know that you are safe from the storms because you are underwater. They would like to let you know that if you have been caught in a web, if you are caught in a net, perhaps looking at this from a higher perspective, you realize that it is a thousand petaled lotus. You are being called to have faith and to continue to transform at this time. Allow yourself to feel out what is right for you, listening to yourself and yourself alone. Your grace, your patience, and yeah, your grace and your patience have been very resilient for a long period of time. And we see that there's this energy here of how much longer do you have to be patient? Why are you the only one that's patient? Why are you the only one that is acting through grace and integrity? Well, you forget if you are a mermaid aboard a pirate ship, you will inevitably be different. You are not meant to be the same. The mermaids would like to remind you that you will have an opportunity to go back to your comfort zone in a way that switches your perspective about where it is you're meant to be and what you're supposed to be doing. There seems to be a bit of a desire to make rash decisions. A one quick fix, that one thing that will fix everything, that one thing that you can do that will change your whole situation. And this does not exist, my love. Not in this situation for you. The mermaids would like for you to open your eyes and they would like to recognize within you the beauty and the divinity that exists. The more that you see it, the more that others will. But if you pretend to see it, others won't. This is not about others. This has never been about others. This is not about anything that is outside of you. In fact, nothing is. That is only an illusion. The mermaids would like for you to know that you feel the need to breach your head and take a gasp of air. But when you are in this net, you don't know how much longer you'll have the water. So you wait to be pulled up because once you are in the air, you don't know how much longer you'll have the water. This energy connects you between self-sovereignty and faith in the divine surrendering. You are at a position where you are alchemizing both of these things and you will be guided towards the things that are right for you. And when you explore the things that are right for you, you will notice the divine helping you to shift and transform in the ways that you would like. Allow yourself to continue remaining balanced at this time. Take a look at the things that you have an abundance of and look around you at some of the gifts that you have received because it is not the words that come from the perception of those around you. It is rather what they give you, energetically, physically, spiritually, emotionally, what they give you that shows you who you really are to them. Taking this into account and allowing yourself to always follow your inner knowing, to continue connecting with your true self Find that pocket of air with your eternal fire. You will find it amidst the clear waters. And when you swim through clear waters, you'll be able to see that there is less life where there is more transparency. This is part of the natural order of things. So, allow yourself to have your safe haven energies 
your safe haven situations and allow yourself to have your clear points. As you go back and forth between the two, if you find yourself getting caught in a net, surrender and let yourself get pulled up to the shore. You will be met with a kind stranger each and every time. And finally, the mermaids would like for you to know that your strength and beauty, your ferocity is comparable to that of a lion, to that of a shark, to that of a whale, to that of a mermaid. As much as you are a divine spiritual being, you are a human. And as much as you are a human, you are a wild animal. Do not forget that you are on a planet surrounded by wild animals, human and not. And don't forget that the duality between that provides you with instincts that will keep you afloat when need be and will lead you to calm water. Utilize, however, your divinity, your spiritual essence, your intuition and intellect. Utilize these instincts in order to help you find that special pocket with your eternal flame that will never go out. And as you find your pathway between the two and you open these things up, you will find a collection of all of the things that resemble you and your journey as they mirror one another. The mermaids would like for you to trust in your galactic and ancient ancestries at this time, specifically. You have a lot of information about us, is what they're saying to you. And they would like for you to remember them all and understand where some of this difficulty in maneuvering certain situations comes from. With this being the case, always be aware of where you are here now, who you are here now. This way you will never get trapped in a net again. Okay, group number two, that was your channeled message from the mermaids. I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you. And I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful, magical realm. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time. Namaste. Hi there, group three. Namaste. And welcome to your channeled message from the mermaids. You selected the third group with the follow the flow card. Immediately, there is an energy that is drawing awareness to your alluring self, your energy, your beauty inside and out. You are like a golden liquid light. And the mermaids would like for you to know that this beauty and grace have been bestowed upon you as a divine gift, which most of you already know. Some of you have been trying to run and hide from your eternal beauty. You are well aware of the gift that you have been gifted. And there is also an emphasis on the fact that you know very well that your energy, your alluring energy can hold a specific power over people. This does not make you bad, it does not make you irresponsible, it does not make you anything other than yourself. The way that the natural universe decided to create you. So why do you try to be something other than what you are? The mermaids would like to remind you that at this point in time, there are many different ways that you can utilize this energy. But it is time for you to let it be seen and known. 
there is a part of you that knows exactly what to do, exactly how to do it, exactly when, where, why, how. But for some reason, you feel as though it would not be fair to others if you allow your energy to take up its full space. The mermaids would like to let you know that it is okay for you to be who you are. You are not supposed to be anyone different, otherwise you would be, and there are other different people for that. The mermaids would like for you to feel more confident in your body, in your hair, in your nails, in your face, in your heart, in your mind, in all bits and pieces of you, inside and outside. You know how beautiful and pure you are. And sometimes purity leads to isolation or isolation leads to purity. These two energies are infinitely connected together. And this is where we tap in with oneness. So, group number three, do not fret or fear your oneness. Do not fret or fear the beauty and the expansiveness that is you. Do not feel self-conscious. Allow yourself to be exactly who you are. Let yourself be as beautiful as you are inside and out without worrying about if you're being too nice, if you look too good, if you are doing something too well, if you know too much, because these energies are not true. And although a projection may have been wrapped around your neck, this does not make it who you are. The mermaids would like for you to sing your song, to open up your voice and let your true voice be heard. This is something that you know where to find, but require a safe space to explore and express. You have never or have rarely had this. And so now it is time that you will be provided with a location specifically intended for you to echo out the fullness of your voice, of your expression, without worrying about the noise to others without worrying about the energetic reverberations or effects it might have on others, good or bad, without worrying about making a mess, without worrying about doing it right on the first try. You know who you are and you know what you're here in order to experience. Yet, for some reason, It has always been so much easier for you to believe that you are here for others. Yet you are aware that no matter how far you venture out, there is no other. While you will explore different particles that make up one being, you will begin to understand that your particle is exactly the way that it is supposed to be. And in order for you to exist, your opposite must also exist. No, they say opposites attract, don't they? The mermaids would like for you to fearlessly be beautiful, bold, and brave. The mermaids would like to ask you to sing as loudly, as purely and authentically as you can. And to make sure that you are singing your song, your music, as you know, from when you have shared this before. This will attract many who will decide that, oh, what you have is good, therefore you should give it to them. And this, my loves, this chapter is over. You are releasing this once and for all. This is also why purity and isolation and oneness go together. This is the true grand trinity. The mermaids would like for you to open up your energy body in the ways that you know how and to experience life in the beautiful ways that you know how. 
there are a lot of people in your life that you see through and feel through, yet for some reason they are still there. These people will not grow and change and evolve. Therefore, they will either stunt your growth or end up hurting you. Be aware, group number three, that the mermaids come to you with a message of love and they would like to leave you with a pearl of wisdom. There is a reason why something has been locked away for so long. And it is because it is going to be unmistakable when it is unleashed. This is an energy that is beautiful, but also belongs to you and you alone. The search for this energy is over, pertaining to others. And your name is written on it. This exists within you and you alone. There is a reason why you are the only one that has the information that you do. There is a reason why you are the only one that is you. And there is a reason why certain energies just don't feel right to release, to speak, to express, to pretend. This is not an accident. This is not a wound or a pain or a trauma. This is, in fact, following the flow. In order to find the center, one must first say yes and then say no, or first say no and then say yes. Either way, one must find the center. The mermaids would like for you to know that you are allowed to dive all the way deep into the depths of your ocean, for it is only there that you will find the beings that can also exist there. What happens when you swim to the bottom of the ocean? It is dark and there is immense pressure. But this is only the information that is received to those who are not built for these environments. Because it is not dark for all. It is not cold for all. It is not filled with pressure for all. This is a subjective experience, yet many call it facts and science. You are aware of where a lot of these false narratives are woven within humanity and a lot of the people around you. Do not allow yourself to second guess what you know to be true in your soul, from your experience. Because if you've reached a destination and you memorize the way there and you frequent this spot, then you surely will know the directions. You surely will know the streets. You surely will know where you are going, where to park and what it will look like when you arrive. So when someone shows up and they bring their own chaos and they don't know right from wrong, they cannot tell left from right, up from down, and they make sure to laugh at your song. Then ignore these people. This is what you should do. Although you might not want them to be wrong, because to be right, it means inevitably that it makes somebody wrong. So group number three, let's get into your tarot. Messages please from the mermaids to group number three. Someone needs to keep writing, keep painting, keep singing, keep something. Messages please to group number three from the mermaids.
messages from the mermaids to group number three. Messages to group number three from the mermaids. We got a howling dog outside the window. They're showing me a wolf howling at the moon. And we have the six of cups, the loyalty card, the dog card with the justice. Mm. It is time for your purity, for your beauty to be unleashed. It is time for you to follow your dreams, the ones that you've had since you were young. And it is time that you stop waiting for yourself to find yourself wanting something else. There seems to be a false narrative that is ingrained within you, consciously or subconsciously, and they say this gently. The mermaids would like for you to know that the reason why something continues to bother you, why you continue to want something that for some reason you are told that you shouldn't want, you are told that it is wrong, you are told for some reason, oh no, 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 you shouldn't be, you shouldn't be worried about that, that's, that's not yours, that. The mermaids would like you to know that this is akin to the mermaids waiting for a fisherman, a single fisherman, to feed the population of mermaids with their catch, so long as the mermaids let the fishermen fish as much as they want. Now why would the mer mermaids trust the fishermen if the fisherman is known to kill? If it's known to be untrustworthy and starves an entire group of beings, then why would the mermaids even consider what the fisherman has to say? pretending for a moment that it could be right. The mermaid knows that this is wrong and that there are plenty of fish in the sea, but the mermaid knows where to go to find the ones that are the best for the individual and for the group and that are the best environmentally friendly options, save enough for everyone. Yet here we have a fisherman who takes and takes and takes and overfishes, eating things that aren't healthy for their diet anyway, and lying about what it is in their catch and selling it out to the masses who cannot possibly consume it all and it spoils and gets thrown away. So the mermaids would like for you not to get caught up in this illusion, and rather they would like for you to follow the light that comes from within. It's a flashlight that shines on when you are facing the right direction, like your own personal compass. So follow this light, follow the sound, and trust that you already know what you're meant for. The mermaids would like for you to know that each day is just for you. Sometimes you get caught up wondering if others can do for you. And this is not because you desire to receive, but instead because you give so much endlessly. For some reason the mermaids are like really digging the couplets for you, group three, so I'm just gonna channel whatever comes through. You ground yourself in nature when you know that's not your home, and although you can be comfortable, you know where you belong. There is a sense of purity that's unmistakable to you, and because of this shines beauty that belongs only to you. So trust where you are led and never go astray because all your heart's desires are there along the way. <laughs> this is so cute. I don't know why they're rhyming through me, but it's adorable. Um, I'll pull a few more cards. Messages please to group number three from the mermaids. You're telling me no reversals. Oh, I was holding the deck in reverse. Okay. You know that which you've seen, so don't pretend you haven't. And those that are in your life are blind and they don't have that sight. 
the mermaids really want you to continue focusing on yourself because it, you might feel confused when what you receive from others is not what you need. And when, they, when you express what you need and they tell you that's not true, in any other form, this could or would be identified as some sort of manipulation. Now, sometimes this is conscious and sometimes this is not, but either way, it's scary to untie a tight knot. Dang it, again with the rhyming, I was trying not to. <laughs> The mermaids want for you to know that your future is looking bright. And they want me to make you aware that your life is your own right. You'll always get to sing your song and build something brand new. So when you feel stuck, Continue on and trust that the problem was never you. Okay, group number three. <laughs> that is your channeled, very rhymy message from the mermaids. <laughs> I hope this helps shed love, light, and clarity for you. And as always, I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, week, month, year, and incarnation in this beautiful magical realm. Please like, comment, and subscribe. It would mean the world to me because it helps me out a lot and I love what I do. And if you're interested in a personal reading or energy session or any of my decks, books, journals, crystals, things like that, you can find all of that info in the description box below. So thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time. Namaste.